Okay, today's video, we're gonna show you how to use FastCap's blind nail system to mount a drawer front on the front of your cabinet. It's really simple, so let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is let's just open up the kit. We'll open it up backwards so we don't dump nails all over the place. There you go, and there's your little nails. So we know we're gonna use two nails. So we get two nails. Then we're gonna grab our set right here, and we'll close that back up, and let's get started. So in order to do this, all you're going to do is use the nails as actually a marking gauge. So we're going to leave the small stud sticking out. So we're going to take this and insert it just like that. Then we're going to come over here and we can put it right there just like that. And see how that's set in there? And we'll do the same thing one more time. Just like this. Come over to this side. It doesn't matter where you get it. Just put it approximately in the center. And I'm making sure that I nailed that all the way in so the little flange is set flush as well. That's important. The next step is we have to create a shim for our spacing between our drawers. So this is about a quarter inch. So, you know, you could use it any way you want, but I'm a fast cap guy. So I use fast caps. I love them because they stick and the shims won't fall out. So all I did was just stack them up here. And I did this in advance. If I need to make it a little skinnier, I could put one more thicker, put one more, take one off. And then when you're done with the shims, you can just stick them right back on your sheet and you've got everything right there. So there we go. We've got our shims predetermined on our height. And I like to put the shims out just a little bit, right like that. The next step is to take our drawer front. So here we've got our drawer front right here. We're just going to take it up there and hold it up there and set it on those shims. And you notice we got our spacing perfect. We're going to make sure we're lined up side to side right on the money, just like that. And when we get it all lined up, we feel good about it. We want to make sure we get it lined up too. I want to take one shot at this. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply go like that. And I'm just setting those nails in there perfectly. And now I pull that off and I've got my marks right there. And right there, exactly where it's going to line out. So I can pull my drawer out now and reline that back up. So I've lined up one side. And then you can just feel it. It just drops right into place very easily. See how easily that drops into place? So the alignment's fast and easy. There's no question about anything. I'm going to take a couple quick clamps real quick, hold it in place, and we'll put on our Colby corners, and we're good to go. Just like that. So we're good to go. Okay, so next step, Colby corners. So we yeah. put on our Colby corners, yeah. and I'm going to go ahead and catch the drawer front first. So notice we have our screws right up here on top of the pro hole. Makes it really easy. We come in there. Now we're just gonna attach the back side. This time I'm gonna put it a little bit towards there so it pulls it back. Just like that. Make sure that's on completely. And we're set. And take that side. Let's go to the other side. And of course, we have a little bit of adjustment here with the Colby corners up and down. And we should be able to tap that nail, the blind nail, whatever direction we need to tap it in the event it needs to move a little bit, but the blind nail should get it in there just perfect. Okay, we're done. Take the clamps off, go ahead and push the drawer back in, we'll pull out this drawer, pull off our little caps and our spacers, and we'll take a look and see how the blind nail system did. There you go, everything's lined up perfect. First time, no adjustment, Colby Corners, what a great system. That's the blind nail system from FastCap and FastCap's Colby Corners.